What's going on everyone? Welcome to weekly vlog number one. I'm just putting fuel in this car because I've been borrowing it and I need to give it back. Don't be skingy and give a car back with an empty tank. Did you see it wanted? Yes. You wanna see what I'm driving? You wanna see what I'm driving? It's a bit of luxury. Oh, some cars popping back there, yeah? Look at that beaut. Yeah. Oh my days. Private number plate as well, lay back. Let me show you the front. Wow. She's pretty, ain't she? Angel lights are out this side. Yeah. Look at the wheels. Look at the wheels. 21 inch. Look how deep they are. You know what also makes you feel like a luxury? Watch this. Auto self closing doors. So I feel like I've been driving a Rolls Royce for a week. So what's happened is the top end of my Golf is rattling his head off. It's a common problem. The cams wear out on them. So I've got the parts in my boot from eBay. We got a save where we can. So luckily one of my mates has got all the timing kit tools. He's done it before and he's going to be helping me out. Look at this Rolls Royce style roofing. We got diamonds, the diamond package. Anyone owns or has owned a 7 Series, let me know what you think of them. Hello, big black and white cat. My favourite car. My tyres flat. Bismillah rahman rahim First click. Oi, 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 that does not sound good. The dog's calling me. Come up here. Come up here, big boy. He's a big boy. Good, good. Good, good, good. When the top end is rattling on them, you can still drive them, but you got to keep the revs really low. Like, don't even let it go past one and a half, because that's when it starts rattling. We're going up the famous road where you always see some crazy job cars. Look at that Evo, yeah. Wow. Look at that Evo. Look at that Prius. Nice R32 there. We've got a nice two door Subaru. Oh, very nice. Guess what car this is then? Boost Gorge And it's got Mercedes seats in it And it's got some crosshatch seats in the back What's going on here? Mark 6 daily wheel, does it work? Oh, oh it's connected Oh, it's actually connected This is it here This is it here Yeah, it's on the side now Yep, yeah, boy Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 lift it up a little bit. It's got air ride. This stuff gives me anxiety, man. That's it, you should get out now. Press your brakes. Yo, when did you put them in? You got this at a good price 120 quid. For the full kit. You think they spent more money on the packaging than the actual item? What is it that goes on these then? Is it the this? Lobes, yeah. Oh, these ones? Yeah. Not these? No, they're all right, these. They're the intakes in it. These are the injector ones. Oh, okay, okay, That's okay. That's why you're healing misfire. Yeah, it was juddering, it was juddering. Airbox off. Side in the cooler pipe off. Remove these bolts out of here. Pop that pipe off there. This plug was going onto the EGR. 160k mileage. It's not too bad, you know. Not too bad, eh? I think because I'll be flooring it every time. They say a red line a day keeps the carbon away. I had to take the EGR off to get to that. For this corner ball, it was a bit of a tricky one. We had to get this small Tita uh, ratchet spanner. Just about managed to get it through there. Inspection time. Feel that. I've got a rough edge on it. It's been eating away, that. Yeah, is that why they've got metal filings? Oh, it's warm in there. So, we've took that bottom sheet off. Put a 19mm socket onto the bottom crank pulley and then you can see that hole there in the picture in the video that hole there you need to get that to line up through the cam pulley and then you slot, slot this piece and that's it Turn down. so look at that look at the difference <laughs> <laughs> that must be rattling for a while, eh? Wow. Also, I'll show you there's scoring here. That's not supposed oh, to be there. That's pretty deep. 
I can yeah, get my is, nails in there. Yeah, that's. that is deep. That got more than my money's worth. I'm surprised my engine didn't blow. That's oh, that's got that a hole in it. Yeah. Listen, my engine gonna be alright after this. It's a PD in it. It will be. Yeah. yeah. So what we found out is these bearings have got burn marks on here, and that's one down. But the main reason is because he wasn't getting lubrication. Now you know when the people say that servicing is really important. Yeah. Look at that oil passage there. Is absolutely tiny. I'm saying like two millimeter, if that. Yeah. How big when, should it be? No. So the the oil needs to be lean. Oh, all okay. Time. So it doesn't. You know so I mean? it gets through there. Yeah. So it gets through there. Once they start gunking up and stuff, that's when you, know, you start getting all these problems. Ah, that is satisfying. You find that satisfying? Yep. And you clean it. We've took all the old bearings out and replaced them with new ones. New. Come shaft bearings, assembly loop, assembly loop, just to make sure that it doesn't spin a bearing, as they say. Inshallah, we get this car on the road. But listen, man, I like I like this one. Could you stop? Can we stop? This is my baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the ultimate daily, bro. Look at the inside of it, and the outside looks really good as well. We found the problem, so you see this one here? Look, presses down nice and easy. So does that one. So does that one. So does that one. Look at this one, it is stuck. It will not press down. It's supposed to press down like that. That's not pressing down. That one was stuck in the end there. This one was stuck as well. So that what was the problem was when we put the camshaft on, these were not pressing down, so we tried turning the engine. It wouldn't turn over manually because they were stuck. So how you have to unstuck them is, there's a hole there. You've got to squeeze that bit inside there, and that will let all the dirty oil out. Yeah. That one's oh, been yeah, done, but as you can see, look there, it comes out that hole there. Left. And then into there. So what you, if, if it doesn't come out with your hand, you have to put in a vise, put a socket on there like that. So we've got it all back together, but we need to adjust the cam timing. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oh, proper laptop on that, HP. Messing about, are you? Messing about. 12 o'clock in the night, by, by the way, guys. We're still here. Shift start, shift start. Nail it, nail it. We couldn't get it done last night, it won't start. So I don't know if it's a camshaft position sensor or what, but I'm tired. I think because I've not worked with cars for that late in a long time. I got home at 2 o'clock by the time I ate anything. And now it's Sunday. So let's have Sunday breakfast and then let's get cracking. So what we're doing is we're going to unplug the camshaft sensor and then try starting it. And that should see if it starts. Yeah. Turn it off. It turned off anyway, itself. You're doing a good job, we just need to adjust this in it. Adjust the timing. It's very picky. Even one degree can make a difference. Make a difference makes a difference. So what we're doing is we're checking on his engine, two litre, three hundred and fifty brake. Three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. It's in the middle, it's bang on in the middle. That usually goes into there. Yeah. But you fully blanked it from here. Yeah. Plus oh what's going on here? So is that nitrous? <laughs> eh? No, that's fuel. So they're your own filters in it. So yeah. You... So what I was going yeah? through was not going in your fuel filler. No. So they're your fuel fillers. Though. Yeah. So I was having a fueling issue. Yeah. And I found a fault with this uh, fuel housing itself. Okay. So I've cracked the bolts loose. I've adjusted it. Mm. All right. Moment of truth. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم no so we're gonna adjust the comp using the using the figures that it's gonna throw now we've got the car running it's gonna actually show some figures so we'll be adjusting it to still here we've not gone yet we've got to rip all the timing off because that seal I see it you got gap there it's not supposed to have that gap there so we're gonna have to try taking this pulley off to take that out from our side come on let's do this yeah, and we're off. Oh, that's not going to come off easy, is it? You need a rubber mallet. Alright, so we've got it off. Oh my days, how the hell was that even supposed to seal? Nah. Why is that gone so loose? It was tight when we put it on. It's way too loose, that. We've got it all back together. We've talked them to 8 newton meters. Don't forget to put silicon on the end caps at the bottom of your end caps because that's where oil leaks out from there. Put the new seal in. And to be honest, we reused the old seal. It looked like it was in a better condition than the new one. 90 degrees notch them. Every bolt needs to be turned 90 degrees. Then get the rest of it together. And then inshallah this time round, we should be able to drive out of here. <laughs> and it's alive. What a crazy weekend! Eh? Moving on. What a crazy weekend! Before my days done in it. Now this this young lad over here has blown his bike up as well. Eh? Yeah. Piston. Piston seized. Tire locked. Is it fully locked? Where's the release now? Release now. Hmm. Mm. So what are we doing? Taking top end off. Top end, yeah. So, what I was going to do next was chisel this locking nut, but it's got a ring on it and it's just spinning. So, I can't even whack it, it's just going to damage the ally. Okay, so we've got the top but head bolts off. Lift that side, front side. Okay, so we've got the head off. The piston is free, which is good. Piston is free. Still got a bit of compression, to be honest with you. But... It's had heat soak. See down the sides there. It's, it's shaving and it's got a little scratch. You can feel it there. A little indentation there. Scratched it. And that's why it locked on him. So what happened? How fast were you going? Around 60 mile per hour. And the back wheel locked? Yeah. You're lucky, you know. I know, I know. Very lucky. You got lucky, you know, that you didn't smash the piston. Took the side casing off where the power band is to disconnect the power band valve. It's pretty easy, you know. I love these two strokes because I didn't even know like how sick they are to work till I worked on one. And that is it. The whole top end is ready to come off. Oh my days. Look at the piston ring on this side. There's no piston ring at all. It's all gone smoothened out. How many hours have you done? 25 hours, bro. Eh? <laughs> what have you been doing? Eh? Then he goes, it blows up. Shall I tell you a way how to make this last more hours? Shall I tell you one way? Tell me. Right, easy. Stop flooring it everywhere, bro. Everywhere I hear just bam, bam, first, second, or third, all the way up to fourth, bro. <laughs> the. Is that alright? It's got a little bit of play, but they always have a little tolerance. Always have that little bit. So what you gotta do is you gotta take that pin out from the piston and then the there's a metal bar. <gasps> Please don't tell me that didn't fall in the engine. You are so lucky, you know. You know if it's not fell in the engine, you have to have to split the whole engine. Always put some sort of cloth or something in here. You know, whenever you're working in it. So if anything does fall in. So careful, careful. You got your hand around the other side. Yeah. Yeah, pull that out. I'll push it. Yeah, pull that out. Watch, watch it. Bearings inside here. So now you need to go to Firefox <laughs> and get a new piston kit. So after cleaning it all up, it looks like it will need a cylinder horn. It's got a bit of cross hatching in the back. 
on the intake on the exhaust so it's kind of melted let me know if you find these weekly vlogs interesting or not because it's something new that i'm trying